previously on Hell's Kitchen. Tonight, we are walking out minus Robin. <laughs> With Robin gone. Oh, such a relief. The five remaining chefs had their eyes squarely on the prize. The stakes are at the highest point they've ever been right now. In a challenge that tested the chef's ability to teach. Are you ready to meet your students? Yes, yes chef. The chefs were partnered right. with Miss Teen USA. All you can do is teach. You girls are not dressed to cook today. For better. Perfect. Wow. Perfect. Or for worse. I need to get my thong. Oh. Thong. Oh. <laughs> Mama Mia. It came down to Dana's student. Visually beautiful, good job. Thank you. Versus Barbie student. Delicious. The sauce is near perfect. You just raised the bar yet again. The winner is Barbie. Well done. Uh, really oh good job. God. During Hell's Kitchen Italian night. Come on, take the risotto. Barbie was determined to lead. It looks like someone literally peed in the frying pan. I just told you, take the risotto. There's no help in this okay. girl. She led Clemenza in the wrong direction. Come in. Overcooked piss. Clemenza Stop. seemed to have problems all night. What were the appetizers on I that table? I didn't hear it, Chef. And after their great service against past runners-up. Wow, good job all rounds. Great job. Why can't every service be like that? Italian night was. Christine, what does that taste like? All right, Chef. Bumpy, to say the least. What's happened to you guys all of a sudden? I honestly do not understand what the fuck is going on. I'm pissed off. Get upstairs. Give me the one person you want to get rid of. And when it came time to nominate... Chef, I don't think the team came to a final nomination, Chef. They disappointed Chef Ramsay again. Does anyone have a pair of balls? Yeah. Go on, Dana. Barbie and Clemenza. Clemenza. Yes, Chef. Seventh time standing in front of me. In the end, Chef Ramsay decided that... Clemenza. ...was out of lives in Hell's Kitchen. Give me your jacket and leave Hell's Kitchen, please. Yes, chef. And the final four celebrated. Final four, final guys. Four, guys. But Chef Ramsay sent them a surprise. Oh, shit! Find out right now. This day has been such an emotional roller coaster. What it is. Oh, oh man, this is kind of scary. And who survives their most challenging test of leadership so far. Each of you will have a turn running to pass. This is huge. I have to prove I'm worthy of that position in Vegas. As the chefs battle to get one step closer to becoming head chef at Gordon Ramsay Steak at Paris Las Vegas. The continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Enjoy this. The best part is yet to come, Chef Ramsay. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! Oh. Oh. Are you fucking kidding me? My mom. Oh, my God. To see my girl, my mom, is just uh, amazing. I saw my kids and my partner. Finally! <laughs> I've literally been stone-faced the whole time I've been here. I haven't really shown any emotion. And it feels good finally just to let go and just get that hug from your family, that love that you really need right now. How's it been? Hard. You're so proud of you, Justin. These two have been like that. Uh, we're like best friends. We're hanging out every day when we get back. They call us a dynamic duo. You all right? I am. You know okay. me. Yeah, I know you're tough as nails. My family is so supportive, and they're so proud of me, no matter what happens, and I know it. Having brought their loved ones up to date on the highs and lows of Hell's Kitchen. Love you. Love you. The chefs say their goodbyes. To see my babe, it's honestly exactly what I needed. I'm going to hold on to this moment as long as I can. I love you. I love you. 
the family surprise has brought the chefs a little closer to each other. That was one of the most emotional experiences of my life. Chef wasn't lying when he said it was just going to get better from here. But early the next morning, it's every chef for themselves. Good morning, everybody downstairs. There's a car waiting out front for you. Let's go. As the competition is back on. Damn, man. I just woke up. I'm fucking exhausted. We had a long night with our family, but I have to push myself because this is it, dude. We're taking off, and we have no idea where we're going. Final four, it's down to the nitty gritty, so anything can happen at any time. The thought process is going through your head, like, what are we going to do? Morning. Line up, please. We know to be a great head chef, not only do you have to be creative and a great leader, but every chef should know how to maximize profits. And that's what today's challenge is all about. Each of you will be given $15. Thank you, chef. 15. Damn, $15 is not a lot. I mean, come on, chef, you got more money than that. Work it over. You've got 10 minutes to select some stunning ingredients. After that, you're going to head back to Hell's Kitchen, where you've got 30 minutes to create an amazing dish. The key across this challenge is to create a dish that will bring the highest price, therefore the biggest profit. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. Your time starts now. Off you go. Good luck. Wow. Why don't they move that fast in service? In this highly creative challenge, each chef must design a fine dining dish in 10 minutes while they shop for ingredients with a budget of $15. Can I get a wait on this front dry aged strip? This is definitely an important challenge. He's got to know that the head chef he chooses is going to consistently make money for him. This is a little over 3 quarters of a pound. It's all right. OK. Sorry, never mind. Fish is expensive. We don't pay $35.99 a pound for halibut in New Jersey. I'm just going to have to make it a small portion. Can I get five ounces of uh, halibut, please? I know. Yeah, that's good. While Dana invests in an expensive protein, Barbie is looking to take a more economical route. Oh, yeah. Perfect. Can I have one of the center cut pork chops, please? My inspiration for this dish came when I saw that pork was $5.99 a pound. Thank you very yeah. much. But I just can't have a pork chop on the plate. I need to add value to this dish. And I saw the sausage, and I just had to have it. Here you go. Thank you. You're very well. Four minutes left. Excuse me. Sorry. I'm running around the store, and I'm picking seasonal ingredients that would be cheaper right now, you know, corn and avocados. And I grabbed those right away. Coming out. And then I wanted to bring it together with some colossal shrimp. Thank you very much. 15 seconds left. Um, just under half a pound of swordfish tape. Well, we take the skin off and leave it off. I know you can leave it on, thank you. Three, two, one. With the shopping complete, it's time for the chefs to see if they stayed within their $15 budget. $14.72? $14.04? Awesome. Four cents. Thank you. And it seems everyone has managed to do just that. Total now is $15.77. Oh, fuck. Except for Justin. Chef, can I borrow 77 cents? Sucks so bad. Bring the avocado back. And at some point, so you have to make the tough decision. So that brought me right back down, and I got my last ingredient, which was a mango, and I was good to go. 1448. Keep the change. Now that everyone is on budget, it's time to return to Hell's Kitchen and begin the cooking phase. Let's go. Of the profit margin challenge. 30 minutes. Your time starts now. Let's go. Let's do this. Aprons, guys. Does everybody have an idea of what they're making? Yes, Chef. I'm not 100% sure. I'm super excited about my ingredients. I don't have 100% idea of what I'm doing at this point, but I'm not nervous because I'm the best. I've been doing it every competition so far. Balls to the wall and just see what happens. I got it. I know what I'm doing. Christina, get the least amount of ingredients out of everybody. I know. All right, good luck. I'm worried about my dish, but I can't let my mind go to the, you know, why did I get this or why did I get that? And I'm just hoping that when people see they're getting fish and shrimp, they might be willing to pay a little bit more. Working with me, I love you. Just under 15 minutes to go, yeah? Yes, Chef. Looking around like it's so quiet in the kitchen. Because there's only three other people. This challenge is make it or break it. I mean, there's a lot of pressure here. If you mess something up, you have nobody to blame but yourself. Your cream's bubbling, Dana. What's up? Watch your cream. Crap. It's a challenge. We're not working in teams. So why aren't you helping her? I'm only focusing on me. Come on, you. 15 seconds to go. Shit. Hot. Behind Father. Here we go. Come on now. Five, four. Three, Come on. two, one, and stop, guys. 
OK, listen carefully. To help me judge this profit margin challenge, I brought in three amazing experts. Our first judge is Michelin star, the executive chef and the owner of MB Post restaurant in Manhattan Beach. Please welcome David Lefevre. <laughs> chef, good to see you. Good to be here. Thank you so much for coming. Our next judge is the West Coast editor of Bon Appetit magazine and a best-selling cookbook author. Please welcome Hugh Garvey. <laughs> Absolute pleasure. Thank you. Thanks. Our third judge, he's the general manager of the Michelin-starred Bettina Restaurant Group. Please welcome Christian Filippo. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you. Oh, man. This is kind of scary. I think this is going to be our toughest panel yet. Now, listen carefully. The judges are going to taste your dishes one by one. They're going to give me their price that they are willing to pay for it. The chef that has the highest average priced dish wins the challenge. Let's start off with Justin. We should. I'm the first one up, and I'm feeling pretty confident in my dish. I know I have some bold flavors, and uh, I'm excited. So I went with the uh, roasted corn, roasted mango, jalapeno, salsa, and a chili shrimp on top. It's nice and crispy outside. I think the cooking is nice as well. Yeah, the shrimp is perfectly cooked, but it's lacking some liveliness. To me, this dish screams lime juice. Uh, you have key lime or something like that to give it really that burst to explode in your mouth. Good point. Christian, let's start off with you. How much would you pay? I'm hoping that since I chose shrimp, that it's definitely going to go for a higher price. You know, it's seafood. It's at least for a $30, $40 dish. I will say $24. $24. Wow. What, are you kidding me? I just don't understand it. And I deserve a lot more than that. David? I would say probably $29. Hugh, please. I'd expect to pay around $32 for this. Thank you. I have respect for them, but you know what? Definitely could have got more money for it. Thank you, Justin. Average price for your dish, $28.33. Not bad. Oh, it's an average. OK. Barbie, please. Yes, Sorry, Barbie. A lot of pressure on my shoulders as I'm walking up, because I made a pork chop. Pork chops usually average less than shrimp, yes. but I still think that I have at least a $32 dish. I made pork and sauerkraut. Pork is usually not one of those dishes that you would expect to get $35, $40 for, so I added value by adding the sausage. The pork is cooked very well. Mm -hmm. With the sausage, though, it's a little bit over salty. OK. I like the generosity of this dish, but I don't think it needed the second meat. I have to agree with you. The pork is the star of the show. Value isn't going to come in a sausage. David, how much would you be willing to pay for this entree, please? You know, I'd probably be willing to pay 33 bucks for that. I'd be willing to pay $34 for this. Wow. Christian, please. $32. Bobby, congratulations. Average price for your dish, $33. Thank you. You have the lead. I can't believe I just got beat down by Barbie. It really hurts. It really irks me. $33, the price to beat. Hell yeah. I'm feeling good. Next up, let's go with Dana, please. $33 for a pork chop? Wow. I guess size does matter. I'm worried now because my piece of halibut is like this big. That is a panko and herb crusted halibut over a shaved fennel salad. And that's a citrus beurre blanc underneath. I love that you chose halibut. The seafood is the star of the show. Christian, how was that for you? The fish is very nice. It's a great dish, very fresh. It's delicious. Very elegant. Thank you. Hugh, how much would you be prepared to spend on that dish? Uh, I would spend $32. Wow, wow. Great start. Christian, please. I would say $32 as well. David? 38 would be what I would pay for it. <laughs> Damn, that's good. Dana, an average price of your dish, $34. Great job. Thank you. We have a new leader. And only one chef left. Christina, let's go, please. Dana just crushed it yet again. There's not a lot of challenges left, so I got a big hill to climb right now. I have a grilled swordfish with saffron rice, shrimp as well. I love that broth. I feel like I'm in the south of France. It's a very flavorful dish. The brothiness is nice with the rice, but see the skin on it? Uh, I might have taken that off myself. Be careful with the skin leaving on the plate. It doesn't look too good. Oh, come on. Definitely not good feedback on the skin. Damn non-skin lovers. Skin is where it's at. Get your skin on. I don't uh, agree with all the gents here who want the skin off. I think that adds flavor. I like the option. Thank you, man. Thanks for having my back on that. Now I'm hoping Hugh Garvey will pay more than uh, he was willing to pay for Dana's dish. Price, please. Hugh? I'd pay um, 35 for this. Wow. OK, good. 
I never, ever, ever wish bad on Christina, but I just hope that her dish doesn't get as much as mine. <laughs> Come on. Christian, please. I will give uh, $32. $32. It's down to the final judge, and Christina will need a price of at least $35 to tie Dana. David, please. Um... Come on, Chef LeFevre, come on. I just need $36 to win. Help me out here, buddy. I would probably pay $34 for that. Christina, average price for your dish, $33.67. Dana, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Yeah! Winning a challenge is awesome, but winning a challenge when it's down to the final four, huge. So proud of myself. It's all me, baby. It's all me. Ironically, the smallest looking portion delivered the biggest punch in yeah. terms of value for money. Dana, let me win a challenge for once. I need to step it up. I need to focus on trying to make a good impression tonight. Uh, judges, as always, an absolute pleasure. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you very guys. much. Thank, Thank you, you, you so much. Thank you, guys. Good to see you. Dana, you are in for a fantastic afternoon. It's going to start off with an amazing visit to David Lefebvre's restaurant. Oh, nice. Chef David is going to treat you to an amazing lunch. Yay. But I also arranged for him to give you some one-on-one -on -one time. At this stage of the game, any form of education from experts like that comes in handy. Oh, absolutely. Everyone else is going to be stuck here doing something crappy. I'm going to be going to an amazing lunch, getting some tips, and it feels so right. Head upstairs. Hurry up. Nobody else. Nobody else. <laughs> Get going. Your limo's waiting. All right, all right. Bye, guys. First of all, I'd like to apologize ahead of what I'm about to tell you, because this is a unique punishment. We pride ourselves in Hell's Kitchen on looking after the environment. So today, Christina, Justin, and Barbie, you have the important task of separating and sorting out every ounce of trash in Hell's Kitchen for recycling purposes, clearly. It's going to be messy. It's going to be disgusting. Once you've gone through sorting out bags of trash, get showered and get your asses back in the kitchen because I'm opening Hell's Kitchen tonight. Got it, Barbie? Yes, Chef. Justin? Yes, Chef. Christina? Yes, Chef. Get outside. Your trash bags are waiting you. Let's go. The punishment today is a really, really bad one. Oh, shit. And uh, I've been through a, a handful of pretty bad punishments, but this is a whole new level of disgusting. I would give Clemenza a head-to-toe bath if I didn't have to go in that dumpster today. Oh, little motherfucker. This is absolutely horrifying. It's gross. I'm seeing nasty scallops and old artichokes. It smells like the most putrid thing you ever smell in your life. There's no fucking way I can even go near that. I'm not even kidding. I'll definitely throw it. Seriously? This is what every Friday is like. Waste vegetable oil and compost. I do this at home. You get familiar with the smell, and there's all different kinds of smells, you know, like dairy, air. So get over it. What? Uh, oh, shit. You're a dumpster diver. Sorry, I like your goggles. Thank you. I'm glad Dana's leaving. She would have done nothing but whine and cry and bitch and moan and make me want to throw her in the dumpster. While the losers work on their recycling skills, Dana arrives at Chef LaFaber's restaurant for her one-on-one -on -one cooking lessons. Dana. Hi. Welcome. I have the whole restaurant to myself. <laughs> come on in, come on in. Congratulations, <laughs> thank you. huh? Thank you so much. Dish was amazing. Oh, thank you. I want to welcome you to Manhattan Beach Post. It's beautiful. Do a little cooking if that's all right with Sounds you. Sounds perfect. Awesome. Come this way. All, all right. right. Yeah. It's just a beautiful restaurant. I'm excited to see the kitchen and just jump in and start cooking. So one of the dishes that we sell a ton of is our Vietnamese curried mussels. To have this one-on-one -on -one time with Chef LeFevre is amazing. This is a Michelin star chef giving me a private cooking lesson. There you go. All right, and then a half ladle of that. And let that steam. Perfect. Oh, you it know. smells so good. Oh. Oh. Good. oh, there are so many maggots in here. Oh, my god. Oh, oh this is fucking nasty. <coughs> If you puke, just make sure you do it in the organic one, all right? <coughs> really? That's what I'm thinking about right now. I'm going to recycle my throw up. 
Justin is definitely the baby of the group today. The last thing I want is for Justin to puke all over something we're gonna have to clean up. If there's maggots, I'll take it. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> While Justin tries to keep his lunch down, Dana is anxious to enjoy hers. Perfect, okay, you put that back. Good squeeze over there. Can we go eat it now? Actually, I think I've got some people in the restaurant that we can serve it to out front if you're cool with that. I'm sure they'd be psyched if you were there. What? What? Dude, I'm starving. I sure thought not. this was just for me. You can set it right down in the middle of the table. You just never know what's going to be next. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> they said there were some guests <laughs> in the dining room that needed to be served. <laughs> These two guests aren't just any two guests. They're my parents! <laughs> I was not expecting this at all. Just enjoy, relax, and have a good time. Thank you. This is amazing. It's always better to win in Hell's Kitchen. Cheers, Dana. We're so proud of you. You're just amazing. This feels so good. I can't believe my parents are sitting here with me. But at the same time, I'm thinking, don't lose focus. You need to get back in there and go kick some ass tonight. Dana, go for it. All right, I do every day. I know. Bye. Love you. Mm. Bye. Love you. Love you. While Dana's lunch with her family comes to an end, her three competitors are busy prepping for tonight's service. Dude, why do I keep smelling that fucking garbage? It's probably stuck in your, it's somewhere on you. I have it can't to, it's be. like I in my hand. I can't shower, I, I scrub the shit out of myself. I'll get it. Hi, guys. Hey, buddy. It was so fun to see my mama and dada. I got to eat and cook, too. Come on, Dana. Oh. Now I'm annoyed. The last thing I want to hear is how great the reward was. We have been here busting our ass all day long. Please tell me regular menu. Regular menu. Regular menu. I know, and I feel like, like nobody's like talking to me. Everyone is totally ignoring me, even Christina. It's weird. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Come on, Christina. What the fuck is your problem? No more friendships. It's not about friendships anymore. So it's time to step it up. And this service could determine our fate in Hell's Kitchen. Line up quickly, quick, quick, quick. OK, tonight, you're going to be tested on your leadership skills. Each of you will have a turn running the pass. This is huge. If you can't do this, how are you going to run a brigade of 40 chefs? This, for me, is one of the most important tests. This will really establish the difference between a cook and a chef. One more thing, listen carefully. Tonight is an even bigger night for you all because the president of Paris, Las Vegas, Mr. David Honeymeyer, is gracing us with his presence. So you do not want to screw up, let me tell you that. Service of our life. This is huge. Like, I have to put out my best all night long to prove that I'm worthy of that position in Vegas. Tonight, I want to see who has the natural ability to become a great leader. Got it? Yes, chef. Yeah. Let's go. James. Yes, chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Yes, chef. Tonight will be a true test of each of the chef's leadership abilities. These are going to take longer, too. They're way bigger than usual. Chef Ramsay is looking to see who can run the kitchen. Let's go, guys. Come on. While maintaining the highest of standards. OK, look at me. Tonight, step up to the plate and lead. Yes, yes chef. chef. Scott and Andy are going to jump in on the sections and help so we get the momentum going, OK? I order three risotto, one six of salad. Yes, sir. For how long? I got seven minutes, chef. Seven minutes. Let's go. This dinner service, really, everything's at stake. We've all made it this far. We're all going to come out fighting right. something fierce. So I have to push myself in. I need to really be on point tonight. Christina, risotto, I'm hoping, is there, yes? 90 seconds. Justin, Caesar salad, please. We chef. Is that all three? Great. That's delicious. With Chef Ramsay getting the kitchen out of the starting gate. Service, please. And appetizers leaving quickly out of the kitchen. Justin, on the hot plate now. Please, Chef. Christina, take over the garnish. Oh, Scott, take over the apps, please. Thank you. Chef Ramsay is ready to hand the reins over to Justin. Now, look at me. Read the ticket. Get the attention of your brigade. Come on. Wait. Order. Three scallops, one lot of spaghetti, two bass, two cod. Order. Yes, yes chef. chef. My strategy at the pass is to just drive the food. How long? Two minutes on the risotto. Garnish. I'm just trying to make sure everything's done properly, make sure everything's done perfectly, and get the food to the diner. Service plate, appetizer, table 61. Justin is off to a solid start. Good flavor. Mm -hmm. But his quality control is about to be tested Coming. as Chef Scott sabotages him by putting crab in the lobster spaghetti. Lobster spaghetti. How long? Spaghetti right now. 
I'm taking everything I've learned since I've been here. I'm tasting every single thing that's come to that past. What is that? Crab. Lobster spaghetti, chef, not crab. Let's go, Justin. Come here. Please, chef. Good catch. Look at me. Now you understand the importance, yes? Yes. Of tasting everything. Well done. Really well done. Thank you. Now, I'm not going to let anything slide by me. There's no way it's going to happen. With Justin acing test number one. Chef, how long for this, this refire and spaghetti? I need another one right after, right? Six minutes. He now has to contend with sending out entrees as well as appetizers. Let's go VIP table. Three scallops, one lost of spaghetti. Entree, two bass, two Wellington. Wellington for two bass. Dana, answer me. Yes, chef. Justin's being so annoying. I mean, take a deep breath or something. How long? Six minutes. Six minutes, five minutes. I need a five. It's going to take six. Five, five minutes. Come on, get it together. It really irks me to know that Dana's dragging on fish and doesn't really seem to care. She's not getting it fast at all. I'm waiting for first fucking table. Scallops. Thank you. ready. Walking with Welly. Walking with Welly garnish. Where's those bass? Three minutes. I need it now. We're dying. And it's going to be ready when it's ready. Uh, young lady, so far, your attitude stinks. Come here, you. This is his time now, yes, and he's chef. driving the team. Yes, chef. So it's your time or his fucking time? It's his time, Right, OK. Move chef. your fucking ass. Yes, chef. Your biggest problem is Dana's time, not the restaurant's time. You haven't sorted out the difference in your mind. It's our first table. Young lady, if you're doing that to sabotage him, you're doing a fucking good job. Wait, what? I work as hard when Justin's up there as I do when anybody's on the pass. When you stand up here, you'll understand what I'm fucking saying. That first table. Where's those bass? Right here, right here. With Dana now delivering her bass. Service, please. And Justin regaining control of the kitchen. She's the VIPs go. out. Food is once again making it out to the dining room. Fantastic. Mm. Mm. Well done. Thanks, Chef. You're on apps. Let's go. Dana, hot plate, let's go. Yes, Chef. I need to prove to Chef Ramsay that I'm the chef he's looking for. I need to step up and take the leadership role that Chef wants me to take. Order in. Entrees, two cod, one Wellington, one strip. Come here, come here. Dana, look at me. They have to respond. Yes, Chef. You're driving them. Yes, Chef. Read it again. Guys, listen to me. Order in. Two cod, one Wellington, one strip. Heard. Yes, yes chef. chef. Good, that's better. How long? One Wellington, one strip. Three minutes. Three minutes, heard. Followed by one risotto, one scallop. Dropping your scallop. Risotto drop. Two minutes to the window, please. I am going to run this kitchen. This kitchen is not going to run me. Can I get garnish in the window, please? Yes. Garnish behind you. Coming down. God is behind. Service, please. With Dana having a firm grip on the kitchen, food continues to leave at a steady pace. Justin, how long on risotto? Walking right now. Thank you. Risotto here, risotto here. But she's about to face her quality control test as Chef Ramsay slips some sugar into the risotto. I'll just start out you do the two risotto, yes? OK. It's coming. Calamari's right behind me. Stop. Taste that. I tasted this one. This one was good. Yeah, taste it again for me. Oh, yeah, it's made with sugar. Yeah, I didn't catch that. Sugar! I'm an idiot. I should have tasted it. Come on, then. Fire two more, then. Get some spirit in you. I need you to fire two more risotto, please. We ship. I got to figure out what to do up here to make myself turn around and to get better at this, because I'm not going to stand up here at the pass and fail. I'm not. How long on one risotto? We're here. Right here, chef. Let's go. Behind you. Behind you, chef. Hot. Justin. Yes. Good job on that risotto. It tastes Thank good. you. It's an hour and a half into dinner service, and after stumbling on her quality control test, Dana has put in a strong performance. That's really good. Barbie, join me at the hot plate. Yes, chef. Now, it's up to Barbie to show what she can do as the head chef. Look at me. There's one way driving this kitchen. It's yes, your chef. way. Yes, do chef. Do you understand? Yes, chef. Off we go. Order in. One risotto, one scallops. Followed by one scallops, one Caesar. Entrees, one Wellington, one New York strip. I'm so confused. Barbie, we're over here, and the guests are over there. What the hell are you doing? We can't hear you when you're not looking at us. What are you doing? You don't shout out there. Yes, you take the ticket there, and you command to your brigade. One risotto, one scallop, followed by one scallop, one Caesar. Entrees, one Wellington, one New York strip. Yes. Yes, chef. The hardest thing about running the pass is trusting that everyone back there has your back. I'm walking risotto in 30 seconds. Dropping scallops. I'm going to take control and do what I have to do. The chef's looking for a leader tonight. I plan on bringing him one. How long? 15 seconds. Scallops are following. Risotto's in the window, chef. Come on, Dana. Move. Two scallops. Potato puree going up right now. 
Taste that. Justin, too much white wine. OK. Talk to Fish about that refire on that risotto. I'm walking in 20 seconds. Refire. Did you talk to Scallops about that? Justin's not talking with Dana, so she doesn't know. She needs four scallops all day. So we're talking a Caesar salad and a scallops. Caesar salad, scallops, how long? Dana, how long for the scallops? They're not even working in tandem. This is your chance now. Hey, you, Fire. come here. Hey, you, come here, you. Come on, guys, pull it together. I need you guys to talk to each other. I need a salad from you, and I need scallops from yes. you. OK? Yes. Two minutes. Two minutes. What the hell? Train wreck. Train wreck. Caesar, my hand, chef. My salad is up. I need those scallops. They're coming right now. With Barbie working through the communication breakdown between Justin and Dana, Go, John. the kitchen is back on track. Fire table four, 24, four Wellington away. Walking with Wally behind. Potato puree going up right now. But the night is not getting any easier as Chef Scott brings his quality control test to the pass, delivering celeriac mash instead of mashed potatoes. This puree doesn't look right. Thanks. Chef Scott, these aren't potatoes. Tastes like celeriac. Celeriac instead of mashed potatoes. Like, please, I know what I'm doing. Good, well spotted. Let's go. OK. I need two Wellington, one cod, one New York strip. Yes, chef, walking right now. Catching Chef Scott's sabotage has allowed Barbie. Right behind, right behind, right behind. Come with the cod garnish right now. Thank you. Service, please. Uh, to finish her turn at the pass on a positive note. Wow, that's really good. OK, Bobby, well done. I think I fared pretty well leading the brigade tonight. Chef was looking for leadership skills, and I believe I did that. Christina, in the window, let's go. Yes, Chef. Look at me, organize it, and run your team. Yes, let's Chef. Go. Two cod, one welly, one strip. How I need long? Four minutes. Four minutes, OK. I'm pumped. If there's a gear past fifth like that, I'm, I'm there. Danik, how long? I'm ready when garnish is ready. Barbie, how long do you need? Two minutes. Dan, I'll see you in two and a half minutes. Finally, a voice on the fucking hot plate. I don't really feel nervous. I feel confident, and um, I'm, I'm ready to go. Dan, is your fish looking OK? Give me two minutes, please. Get inside, Dana. Yeah. Come on, buddy. No, no. When was the last time you heard me call one of my brigade buddy? Dana, please, bring the cod. Bring in the cod. I don't know about that, Dana. You think it's too burnt? Dana, come on. Christina, the cod, it's burnt underneath. I have to redo it. You don't have another one? No, I need four minutes. Forget the friendship. Let's go. Dana, push that. Yep, yep. As soon as it's ready, I'll get it to you. Right, look at me. Yes, come chef. Here. You have to run the brigade. Right now, they're running you. Yes, chef. Dana, you're killing me right now. I love you, girl. I love you to death. But I need that fish. Wellington ready, New York ready. Dana, walk it. Walk it Come right on, now. Here. Fucking joke. God, God's in the cook. Get her up here. Dana! Come here. It's under. Get it back in the oven for another 90 seconds, please. Nothing here. Again. Nothing's coming out. Dana, I need that cot. I, I need 60 seconds. Hurry up! Make it 45, Dana. Come on. Right now we're fucked. We're fucked. Where's that cot, Dana? I need a walk it. Buddy, hey, little high five, little hug it out. No, fuck that. No, we're fucked now. Are you fucking serious? Like, this late in the game, like, the quality food you're putting out? At this point, I don't even give a fuck about friendship. Dana, I need those cards. Walking with cod. Walk quickly. Fuck you. Chef's right. This is a competition. Go ahead and sink yourself. I want to win. You have two in your hand, right? Two, yes. Come on. We're just, we're just shafted. Your time is way off tonight. Go, please. Last two tables. Let's go. Christina's assertiveness has clearly paid off. Chef Scott, I'm ready for that Wellian strip. As the kitchen only suffered a minor slowdown. New York Wellington. Garnish. Now, Chef Ramsay will see if her quality control is up to par as he delivers an arugula garnish instead of spinach. Hey, chef. What the fuck is this? Is this fucking arugula? Are you kidding me? It's arugula. There's no way that's spinach. Come on, man. That's more like it. Well spotted. Yes. yes, Chef. If there's one thing that Chef Ramsay has driven home, it's that you check everything. So there's no way I'm going to let this slide. Go, please. After catching the garnish swap, Christina sends the final entrees out to the dining room. Great. Delicious. Well Got done. It, chef. Stove's off. Let's go. Line up there. I only want to chat with you quickly. OK. I want you to go upstairs and have a bloody good discussion on who deserves to stay and who deserves to go home. Understand? Yes, sir. Yeah? Off you go. There is only four of us left. We're down to the best, and everyone has to be able to hold their stations down. And I don't believe Dana did. She couldn't work her station, and she couldn't work the pass. She was not able to handle that pressure. She's full. Get it over with. I feel like nobody stood out as, like, bad. What the fuck are you talking about? You messed up, 
own up to it. Dana sucked horribly, so it's over. Dana, you drug on the ticket, like the ticket oh, had to a wait. minute, one minute, though. I can't make it cook faster than it cooks. The first ticket was dragging hard. Uh, hard. When I was at the pass, Dana really couldn't get the food up. It was messing me up. She was a disaster. Have you ever worked a pass before? Dana? Me? Yeah. No. I, I felt that you had never worked a pass before. Fuck you. If Barbie thinks she is going to win Hell's Kitchen, she is delusional. You were very uncomfortable at the pass. Um, all right. I usually disagree with Barbie, and Dana is one of my best friends, but she was just kind of fucking up the entire line. Dana, I'm sorry. You know, it's never personal, but I know you had one under COD when I was up there. Really, Christina? They can say what they want, but I've been on top in pretty much every challenge. It's about the entire competition. It's not just about tonight. So I don't deserve to go home. Tonight, you were dropped into the deep end big time. And it was a very important test for me to see who's going to sink, who's going to swim who can hold their own, who can crack under pressure, who can push the brigades. So I need to hear, why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? Bobby. I haven't given up since I've gotten here, chef. I've learned, I've grown, and I still have my passion. I still have my inspiration and my motivation. I don't want to go home tonight. Justin. I drive every single day. I give 150%. The biggest thing I learned in this competition is leave my ego and know that I know how to lead a team. You show me that it's not all about cooking. It's about leading. And I know I have what it takes to lead any kind of brigade there is. Dana. I've excelled in the challenges. I think I've outright won four or five of them. And I've been consistent this entire competition. I know tonight wasn't my best performance, but when I do make a mistake, I listen to what you say, I learn from it, and I don't make the same mistakes again. Thank you. Christina. The moment I walked through those doors on that first day, I had my mouth shut and had my eyes and ears open. As I progressed throughout this competition, I found my spot as a leader on my team. My standards are so much higher, and that's on account of you. This has been really hard for me. And the reason why I'm having such a hard time is that the next service in Hell's Kitchen is the final. Tonight, Two of you are going home. The first person leaving Hell's Kitchen is... Barbie. Listen, you've been amazing. The level of improvement has been extraordinary. You are a very gifted, smart, determined girl. So you take that. I will, Chef. And you run with it. Thank you. Please give me a jacket. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, Chef. Bye, guys. Bye, Barbie. Barbie. Good luck, Bobby. I really did want to win, but you know, Hell's Kitchen is not easy. At the very beginning, everyone was trying to get rid of me. You want to get fucking choked out? I'm you want to get fucking choked out, you dumb cunt? Yeah, cunt! You ain't never jogged a day in your fucking life, and your ass shows it. Ooh, I want to hit you so bad, you nasty bitch. But I didn't let that stop me. Ladies, congratulations. Woo! I just put up three perfect scallops, and we won. It wasn't easy. Who cooked them? I did, Chef. You did? Yes, Chef. For the firefighters of this country. Get out! But I got a black jacket and got all the way to the top four. Tastes like Solariac. Well spotted, let's go. OK. So I definitely feel like I proved some people wrong. I'm really proud of myself. I'm not going to be bummed about it at all. I had a blast while I was here. When I look at the three of you, this is where it gets really hard, really difficult, because there's a fraction separating all three of you. And honestly, I could see all three of you in Hell's Kitchen finals. But there can only be two.
the first chef going through to the Hell's Kitchen final is... Next time on Hell's Kitchen, the finale begins as the final three... The first chef going through to the Hell's Kitchen final is... ...become the final two. Who will be competing? Congratulations to you both. In one of the most glamorous... Welcome. ...luxurious... Your VIP day starts here. Over the top. What a welcome. Look at that. Amazing. Hell's Kitchen's yet. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, Penn and Teller. Chef Wolfgang Puck. Good to see you. Thank you. Everyone will be there. Welcome back. Here's my can. Whoop ass. Serving it up. Anybody want some? Watch out, bitches, because here comes Robin. As the time has come for the final battle, which will determine who will become Gordon Ramsay's new head chef.